Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey Taurus, what's going on with you guys? How are you? How are you? How are you? I have been busy as shit, just like crazy, crazy busy here, Taurus. But it's, it's you know, it's spring and summer for me. And as most of y'all know, I have a horse and I do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of horseback riding. So I'm in my busy season right now. So anyway... Anywho, still doing those readings though, right? Might not be showing up and showing out on YouTube, but you guys are keeping me so freaking busy with those readings. And the beauty is that I can go anywhere and do those readings. It's awesome. So bring it, Taurus. Come with me. Let me read for you in the woods somewhere. <laughs> All right. Let's see what Taurus has going on. Ooh, that feels good right there. Let's just jump straight into it, all right? If you are new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Snuggle up to this table. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of cards. I'm really going to confuse you as I sew together a story. If you're coming back to the channel, thank you so much for your support. I truly, truly appreciate you. All y'all subscribe because it helps me exponentially. Helps me. And uh, let's jump in. Let's do this right here, okay? Let's do it. Spirit. Source universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Taurus? And what does the Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate coming situations and circumstances of their lives for the very best and highest good. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Bottom of the deck. Boom. The Ten of Pentacles. Freaking amazing. Uh, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Alchemist in reverse. The Nine of Cups in reverse. Look at that. And the Star to the Eight of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay. All right, that's going to make hella sense to you in just a second. So, the King of Swords in reverse right there. Don't know what this is about, but I know this person is a dick, okay? To the Death card in reverse, uh, transformation, resistance to change. We'll see. The Four of Wands, some kind of stability, safety, long-term kind of stuff, strength in reverse, a weakness. And the Two of Pentacles, prioritization. Princess of Swords in reverse, a lack of communication, perhaps. The Three of Cups, maybe getting together. The Princess of Pentacles in reverse in the center of your reading. To the Chariot and the Ten of Wands. Okay. All right. Ten of Wands being a burden and struggle. The Eight of Wands in reverse. Some kind of stagnancy. The Three of Wands. Some future forecast. The Queen of Swords. The Mind. The Seven of Pentacles. Reflecting and assessing. And then the Empress, which would be you, I would hope. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse to the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Well then. Well then. Well then. We're going to take all of these to the world right there. Okay. Let's make some sense out of this, you guys. What the heck is going on here? All right, Taurus, this is what's going on for you, okay? So the King of Swords in reverse is Taurus that is pissed off about something. Very, very bitter. Very, very, very bitter, okay? And what this is saying, the, the root definition of this card is a misuse of power, 
okay? And what this is saying is that Taurus is misusing their power. You see, with the King of Swords in the upright, Taurus could be using all of their mental energy, the magician, to manifest for their very best and highest good, okay? But instead, this Taurus is, has lost control of themselves somewhere along the way, all right? I asked what the root of this King of Swords is, and it's the moon and the hermit. Okay. The moon is the proverbial Achilles heel of every human being. It's the struggle between that which we know to be true in our guts and that which we just really don't want to accept as the truth. Okay, And the, whatever that is, is why this Taurus is so salty right here. Okay, okay. The hermit says, let's check in. You need to sit down with whatever you call your higher power and have a little bit of a check-in because there's some things in this moon card right here that this particular Taurus needs to come to terms with because they are misusing their power in this lifetime to create the kind of life that they truly need and desire and want to live right? The star in reverse says, this is unpurposeful. Stop this. This is unpurposeful. It's not part of the path. To the king of wands, king of wands talks about getting some kind of some kind of, of, of gumption, right? King of wands is about conquering. Conquer this issue right here for you, Taurus, because you're misusing your power, okay? The lovers in reverse, yes, it was some kind of scorned situation between you and someone else, but more importantly, the lovers in reverse is about this misuse of power is not aligning you with universal order, okay? to the King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse reiterates that you were in a situation with some kind of something. It was a bad situation, whatever it was, Taurus. Someone was emotionally, mentally, or perhaps you, emotionally, mentally abusive, um, verbally abusive, controlling, um, perhaps broke, perhaps couldn't get a job. Whatever the situation was, it was a shit show. It was. It was a shit show. And Taurus is still disgruntled about it. And that disgruntledness is occupying a piece of your subconscious mind that needs to be freed. And death in reverse comes on top of this and says, inner purging. Let's have a personal transformation here. Root card following it is death in reverse. There needs to be an internal transformation, Taurus, to the four of wands so you can be in a place that uh, your, your soul create, your soul craves and desires. The five of swords, win at all costs, white knuckle grip on a mentality. That's the saltiness of the Taurus and that king of swords in reverse right there, okay? Ace of Pentacles says we need to start planting seeds in a different direction. This ground is sour. This ground isn't going to grow anything good for you. The queen of swords, pull it together in your mind, see the truth of a situation, and let go of this to the five of swords in reverse. The exact opposite of that five of swords, right? Five of swords in reverse is letting go of a mentality that is rooted in resentment. Okay, so what's your advice here? Let go of all of this because it's a mentality that's rooted in resentment and it's making your vibe low. It's making your vibe low and you can't get to where you need to go. Strength in reverse. Strength in reverse says you are succumbing to this whole situation and then strengthen the upright, clarified it. Overcome this. Be courageous. Be strong. Overcome this. Page of Wands in reverse talks about a lack of desire or a lack of effort. To the Two of Wands, looking into the future. Hold on, I'm going to explain. And the Eight of Wands, movement, action, change. Two of Pentacles, balancing something out. Three of Cups, meeting someone, justice in your best interest, and then the magician in reverse, blockage. Okay? So what's going on here? So, 
so, so, so overcome, don't succumb, right? The page of wands in reverse is talking about um, a lack of effort, a lack of effort to curb yourself, rein yourself in, let go of the resentment. The two of wands, your future, okay? Doing this is a step into your future to the eight of wands that creates momentum, movement, action, and change. By you prioritizing what you are wasting your life on with this resentment over here, balancing it out, adapting however it is that you need to adapt, inner purging and pushing on, the three of cups, there is some kind of meeting that is going to take place in your life. This three of cups is clarified by justice, right? This is in your best interest to the magician in reverse. It's in your best interest because the universe can't work with you if you are stuck in this misuse of power, okay? So, why do they need you to come to terms with all of this? What's coming towards this Taurus is buzzkill, someone from your past, okay? <laughs> someone from your past. P Princess of Swords in reverse, someone you have not talked to in a minute. Page of Pentacles wants to, um, wants to see how you're doing, okay? The Queen of Cups. Um, this represents your... Uh, reciprocation of this communication, okay? The Queen of Cups, you have feels for this person. You are just super hyper pissed off that it didn't work out, that somehow, some way, something happened and the situation didn't work out, okay? And you're harboring all kinds of resentment about it and the universe says we need to clear this resentment out so you can move forward so your universal order can take place, okay? Queen of Cups. I want to point out, Queen of Cups is ancient, ancient soul, ancient love, ancient wisdom, ancient soul. Okay, it is the King and Queen of Cups for me and my world as a reader represent soul. Okay, so, so this tells me that you have a soul contract or connection with this person. Okay, Three of Swords. Grief, sorrow, pain, heartbreak. Hold, holding on to it in the mind. And the Knight of Wands in reverse. Uh, there has been... Um, let's see what this is about. Let's see what the Knight of Wands in reverse is about right here. I just want to double clarify. Yeah, look, 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 right? Page of Swords in, in reverse. Haven't talked. Uh, Page of Cups in reverse. Have had no kind of exchange whatsoever. Ace of Wands in reverse, no nothing, nothing. There's no nothing between the two of you, nothing. So whatever this was ended and there has been just nothing, but it's coming back around, okay? The Three of Cups, just like this Three of Cups over here, right? Reuniting, getting together, having a talk. Eight of Swords in reverse. They need you to have, and they want you to have, this person wants you to have a new perspective, the Hierophant, about some kind of contract, commitment, obligation, engagement. Okay? Okay. All right. But the Hierophant being Major Arcana, being the card of Taurus, wants you to discern inside of yourself what it is that your soul is trying to get you to understand for your best and highest good. That's why they need you to come to terms with this. Because if this situation shows up and you haven't come to terms with this, it could all go very, very sideways. They want you to come to terms with it because Princess of Pentacles in reverse in the center of your reading. There was no ground to grow anything in the past. The Six of Cups. Memories, nostalgia, warm fuzzies, also a soulmate card. To the Ace of Wands, some kind of new beginning, 
the Page of Cups, some kind of new communication, the King of Cups, this person to your Queen of Cups, okay? Okay? So this soul connection is coming back from your past, someone you have not heard from in a long time, and they want you to have a new perspective about some kind of Hierophant situation with them. The Hierophant being Major Arcana speaking to you because if this was a real reading for you, these would be your real cards, okay? So the Hierophant speaking to you and it's talking about discernment, wisdom, spiritual wisdom, and discernment. Why do you need to have that? Well, because you guys have a soulmate connection with one another, but a soulmate connection with one another doesn't necessarily mean mean that you're supposed to be together romantically okay all right the five of wands five of wands says conflict the same conflict that was there before will still be there temperance temper yourself in this situation why the moon the Achilles heel of every human being. It's the struggle between that which we know to be true in our guts and that which we simply do not want to accept as the truth. You know this relationship is toxic. You know this in this Hierophant energy. You know this relationship is toxic, but you don't want it to be toxic. So when this comes back around again, if this is an unhealed Taurus, you're going to ju just dive right back in because the old flesh wants what it wants, what it wants. If you are a healed Taurus, as this whole top row is trying to guide you to be, you will see and understand that this can't be even though you have this king and queen of cups connection to each other. Okay? King of cups, queen of cups, and the six of cups somewhere in here. Okay? Right there. Right? So, okay, unhealed Taurus is going to jump all over this like white on rice. Healed Taurus is going to understand it and see it for what it truly is. And that's what you come to terms with in the moon card, right? You come to terms with the fact that of the grief and the sorrow and the pain of not being able to be with this person. Knight of Wands in reverse. And you stop wanting to be with this person because you understand the, the, the profoundness of the situation. You guys came together to do something for each other, to set each other on track and point each other in the direction that you're supposed to go, to hold space with one another until you're not supposed to hold space with one, or one another anymore. And that's why the relationship is now toxic. Page of Swords in reverse, all talk, no action, undelivered promises, the Page of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Everything that was toxic about it last time is still going to be toxic about it this time. Okay? The Chariot. Put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what you have to do so the universe can keep you on track to the path of your best and highest good. Ten of Wands, the burden and the struggle, Seven of Swords in reverse, break free from a futile mentality that the burden and the struggle of this relationship is worth it because it's not. Eight of Wands in reverse, this is stagnation. You can't go on your next adventure in this soul experience that is inside of this flesh and bone body that is the ambassador to your soul's experience on this planet, okay? You can't go on to your next adventure. Your soul wants to go on to your next adventure, but your flesh is holding on to this, okay? Three of Wands, have some foresight, 
Okay, see outside, look, Queen of Swords, see outside of the box of the silly human experience that you're having and understand that it is so much more and so much deeper and so much bigger than your small human brain can, can, can possibly comprehend. Yes, take a step back, reevaluate how you're going about doing all of this. And the devil in reverse comes across all of this and says, release your limiting beliefs and detach yourself from your own toxicity of not understanding your soul's journey and simply sequestering everything to your flesh and bone experience. The Empress and stand in your power. The Empress is lesson three for a reason. She's made from lesson one and lesson two. Lesson one is the magician. What you think about comes about. Uh-huh. And if it's not in your best and highest good, the universe cannot participate in it. Mm-hmm. Lesson two is the high priestess. Your soul pointing you towards your true north all the time, every time. Lesson three, the empress. She's the dirt of life. That's why she's fertility. She's the dirt of life. Nothing grows without the empress because the empress understands one and two. Own yourself. Point your whole everything towards the direction of your soul's experience. Ace of Pentacles in reverse or keep throwing things on broken ground. Keep sowing your seeds on broken ground. The King of Pentacles to the King of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This person might be somebody's cup of tea. This person might not be toxic to someone else, but they're toxic to you, Taurus. They're toxic to you. They are. Six of Pentacles in reverse. You can't build anything with this person. Ace of Swords in reverse. Get your head out of the clouds, the moon, and come to the understanding that you know to be true inside of yourself. You know this is a toxic relationship. Nine of Pentacles and pull it together. Pull it together. Bring it to an end. Four of Cups in reverse, to Judgment in reverse, and Temperance in reverse, and stop ignoring your soul's journey, and stop serving your flesh journey, the world. Close down this chapter of your life. Learn what you need to learn. Learn about your soul's expansion, your soul's journey, toxic relationships, your flesh, the difference between your soul journey and your flesh journey and how to combine them together. Read my book. Get your cards read, thepathofpurpose.org. But learn something, grow, because your soul needs to move forward. But it can't go forward without your flesh and bone cooperation. Yep. Bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles. Work on it. Engage. Work. Work on yourself. Work on this. Eight of Swords in reverse. Get a new perspective. The star about the meaning of your life. The meaning and the path and the purpose of your life. Get a new perspective. Ten of Pentacles so you can have the kind of life that a soul wants to live here. The soul wants things taken care of, right? The soul has things to do. It doesn't want to struggle. And if you let it, it knows how to get this Ten of Pentacles going on in your life right here. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful, Taurus. Beautiful. I hope that helps someone. Namaste. Check out my book. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you have been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose. With self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think 
think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free.